I said two thirds minus three eighths, what is one thing you know you have to have done to solve this? You remember? A subtracting fraction is one thing you have to make sure you have. Yes? Common denominators, right? You have to make sure your denominators are the same. Right? Or then you can't subtract or add um, your fractions. So, very good. So, ladies and gentlemen, now I'm moving into some complex um, numbers and expressions. What do you think I have to have? Common denominators. So, let's determine what the LCD is, the least common denominator. Well, in this case, it's just going to be i times 4 minus i. Okay, just going to be the multiplication of those two. So therefore, now, to get them to be common denominators, to get i to be 4 minus i, I need to multiply by 4 minus i on the top and the bottom. You need to make sure you multiply the top and the bottom to produce equivalent equate fractions. Over here, to get the my denominator, I'll multiply by i on the top and the bottom. So now we have some multiplying to do, right? So on the left side, um, I have a nice FOIL problem. So therefore, I have 4 plus 4i minus i minus i squared minus 3i. And then in my denominator, I have 4, four minus i times i, which would be a 4, uh, 4i minus i squared, right? That's just multiplying out. But remember, ladies and gentlemen, when we're doing our complex numbers, our i squared converts to a negative 1. So let's go and rewrite all of our i squareds as negative 1s. Okay, now let's simplify our expression. So now we have negative minus a negative 1, which is now a positive 1 plus 4 is 5. 4i uh, minus i is negative 3i. Negative 3i minus 3i is a negative 6i. All over 4 minus a negative 1, which is 4i, I'm sorry, 4i plus 1. All right. Now, what happens when we have an expression with now a binomial in this denominator? Now we have to do what? Multiply by the conjugate. This is like an extra big step problem, right? So you do 4i minus 1. 4i. No, no, no. Sorry about that. Big mistake. I was thinking about it and I didn't even show it to you. Why is 4 i minus 1 not the conjugate? Why is that incorrect? Huh? Yeah, the i, it's the i that has to be the problem. So what we like to do, ladies and gentlemen, is always write it in your standard form. Right? Write your complex numbers in standard form. A plus bi. So let's rewrite this as. So what was it? Um, 4i. Oh, so it'd be 1 plus 4i. Now you guys can see I can apply the complex conjugate, which will be 1 minus 4i. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, if you have a complex number that's not in standard form, rewrite it in standard form so you don't make that mistake, all right, because it is a very common mistake. I saw it, and I was like, oh, I'll change it later. I forgot to change it, and what did I do? I made that mistake, but I was able to correct it very quickly. So now, we just need to multiply our complex. Uh, now we just need to multiply across. So up top over here, we again need to apply FOIL. So here we'll have 5 minus 20i minus 6i, and then plus 24i squared, all over our denominator. Remember, this is, again, a difference of two squares, right? Just like that problem I just did, number by its conjugate. So that's going to be 1 minus 16i squared. So now let's simplify our terms. Let's rewrite our i squared as negative 1. So therefore, now I have uh, 24 times negative 1 is negative 24, plus 5 is going to be a, a negative 19, negative 20, so, so I have a negative 19 minus 26i all over 1 plus 16, which is 17, 
And what are they in general? We want to write this in our standard form. So it's going to be a negative 19 over 17 minus 26 over 17 i. That would be your final simplified version in, in standard form. Okay? Yes? Here? Wouldn't there be no six i? It's four i. Five times one. You're talking about right here? No, up there it says it's four i minus one minus three i be zero. I changed this from. No, no, that would be nine. And then there's a minus 3i, so there shouldn't be a... Yeah, it should be like, right? cancel out. It shouldn't be a negative 6i. Down below. And then you have oh. a negative 6i. Oh, it's not negative, you're right. So it should be 0i, so it just should be, should be full. Okay, you're right. All right, so hold on. You're right. So that, it's, it's not 5 minus 6i then. It really is just a... Um, that's... 3i, 0, so it's just 5, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Not a problem. Oh, correct. We already, so now I just distribute that, so it's going to be 5 minus 20i. Thank you. I was thinking it was negative. And then on the bottom, we said that was, what, 17? So therefore, my answer is now changed to the correct version of 5 over 17 minus 20i over 17. You can make sure you let me know if I make a mistake earlier. But thank you. That's awesome. I know. I know. I know. I'm not blaming you. I'm saying if you find out. If you're